I want to talk about the top cars that I've seen produced on Turo. This isn't from these Turo uh, website pages. This isn't from any Turo stuff. This is from our bookings, our cars. These are from our numbers. And we've had plenty of different cars that we've rented out. And I just want to talk about the ones that have high utilization, high ROI, and that don't cost a ton of money and they don't depreciate quickly and don't have a ton of maintenance. And those, those are the four things. You want to buy a car that is not crazy expensive unless you can get really good return. Don't get me wrong, it's all about the return, which is number two. You want to make sure that the car doesn't depreciate super quickly. So if I buy a car and it depreciates 50% in the first year, that doesn't make any sense when I can buy a car that makes the same ROI and depreciates maybe only five or 10% in the first year. So think about that. And I know you could do tax write-offs and stuff, but that doesn't mean you should be losing real money on your car. So uh, the th last thing is, of course, the mechanical issues. So I would say, depending on where you are, I think economic cars are a great way to get started and a great way to expand without too much expense, too much headache. And the first car on my list, a car that we have done extremely well on, is a Chevy Malibu. That may sound kind of weird, but the utilization on them and the return is incredible. We have two right now. We bought one for twelve thousand and one for I think it's fourteen or fifteen thousand, and we are doing really, really well on Turo. We can generate anywhere from nine hundred, maybe eight hundred in a slow season like we are in right now, up to we've hit about two thousand um, dollars and just shy like nineteen hundred dollars uh, in the busy season. So. That is incredible. I mean, one year payoff for those, absolutely. We rent those out day on, day in and day out. And when you do private rentals for us, we can rent those out in the winter and spring, fall, whenever it's like crazy, crazy busy. March is a good example. We can rent them out for $109 a day, which is amazing. And that's great because all the other companies are sold out or everything else is just even more expensive. So. Um, Chevy Malibus are great and when we go to resell them they don't depreciate super quickly the ones that we have the one we bought for 15 is worth 20 right now and the one we bought for 12 is worth I think 14 or 15 right now and that's Kelly Blue Book private good condition I'm sure we could do excellent they're in very good condition but I mean that's great the second car is another sedan another economic car and it's a Ford Fusion and that is one of the first car that is the first car of my personal car that we started with. Super high utilization, rents really well, depreciates very little, mechanical problems, I mean, slim to none for us. And, and I know that they typically don't have a ton of problems. Um, similar in how much they can rent out for, usually you'll see uh, anywhere from 800 slow season up to maybe 15, 1600 in a busy season. And then when you're doing private, you could probably rent it up to about $109 a day as well. Um, we have, ours have been doing really well. Um, bought one for 12,000, bought one for 20,000. The one we bought for 20 is worth 22. And then the one we bought for 12 is worth, I think 13 or 14. So, I mean, we buy our cars from auction. So it's a little different than just buying private or dealer, but we have big brakes on that. High utilization, overall great car. Next car is just a class of car. And I'll talk about a couple specifically, but minivans. I love minivans. First of all, the clientele you get is families, which is great because who doesn't want families renting their car? Not, you know, someone trying to run to the border or somebody trying to, I don't know, do bad things in your car because you get that. There's people that do things in your car that you don't want them to and they still do it. Um, but minivans, the minivans that we have is Dodge Grand Caravan, which probably wouldn't be my first pick. I probably wouldn't buy a ton of them. I mean, we have one right now and it's fine. Um, but really, we have Chrysler, Pacificas, and Voyagers, and those crush it. Those do really, really well. We bought three of them. One actually just got in an accident. We're, we're working through the process on tour right now. But so I guess technically we have two of them left. Uh, bought them, all three of them, though, for $20,000. One's worth twenty four, the other one's worth twenty three, And then our Pacifica we bought for like, I think, high, like 21000 and it's worth like 26500 um, which goes to show, I mean, uh, I mean, those depreciate very, very slowly. Mechanical problems, we haven't had any yet, knock on wood. Um, and they rent out really, really well. I'd say in a slower season, you're probably looking about 1,000, 1,200. And then a busy season, you're looking closer to 2,200. And the cool thing about those is when you're doing private rentals, 
you can rent those out for. We were hitting 169, 175 a day for those, which is absolutely crazy. So minivans are a super, super good idea. Uh, let's talk about uh, SUVs. And there's tons of different SUVs you can rent out, but you wanna make sure you get something that follows all those rules. Mechanically sound, doesn't depreciate too quickly, um, is just really good on utilization and good return on investment. And what we've found so far is a VW Tiguan and Jeep Cherokees. Those two cars right now that we're renting out are absolutely killing it. VW Tiguans are making anywhere from, I'd say 900 to 1900. And then the uh, Jeep Cherokees are making probably close, maybe just a little less. And the VW Tiguans in the winter, uh, you know, in the busy season, we're gonna be renting those out for anywhere from um, or private, we're gonna do about 175, 179 a day. So pretty close to the minivans. And then the Jeep Cherokees will hit about 139 a day. So super good cars. Um, one of the last ones that I wanna talk about is, this is another sedan economy, Hyundai Elantra. And this is just one of those cars that if you can buy it right and rent it out, the utilization on ours is absolutely crazy. We have a renter in it right now, actually, for private, and we're, I think it's $62 a day, slow season. Uh, but those things in a busy season, private, hit about $99, $89 a day around there. But in one month, this was like crazy. Somebody rented it out practically for the full month. We made $2,400 which is absolutely crazy. So in literally six months of owning this Honda Elantra, we had it completely paid off. People love it. It's a 13, but it is clean. It's a limited edition, so it has leather seats, backup camera, heated seats, has the moon roof. Um, but yeah, six months, we bought it with, uh, it's like 27,700 miles. We bought it for $10,000. Uh, I think the KBB on it right now is about 10,000. So we, it has 45,000 miles now. So. It's about the same KBB, so it hasn't lost any value. Um, I actually did lose a little because we bought it and it was probably worth 11.5, so it came down to 10, but still we made its money back on it, which is absolutely huge. And these things are selling over KBB, so um, great car. But I would say overall, when you're looking to buy a car, don't just look at dealerships and find what can I get the best deal off of MSRP. Don't just look at private and see what can I get under 100,000 miles. You really have to do your market research, and I can't stress this enough. You have to go on Toro, you have to look at what cars are renting, you have to look at what price are renting out, and you take that knowledge and you look at what the cars are selling for. It's not just about what they rent for, it's also what they buy for and vice versa. You have to be doing tons and tons of research. I think if you're getting into it, there's no such thing as too much research, but don't get analysis paralysis, because. You can do, um, like you can talk about wanting to buy it and then not buy it, but you know, do your, do your research, know what you want, and then get into it. Um, again, I think that it's great business. We're doing very well. I hope you learned something. Those are just the cars that we rent, some of the cars that we rent out and we are doing really well at. And um, I'll see you in the next video.